Taking a live look at Kennedy Space Center, Hurricane Ian is ruining NASA's chances of finally launching that mega moon rocket this weekend. I mean, it's been delayed a lot up until now, too. Crews are now preparing to roll the SLS back indoors. NASA had already called off tomorrow's launch attempt, but they were hoping to try to launch on Sunday. News 6's James Barbero is at KSC, where NASA is getting the crawler ready to move that thing back in again. Tonight, with the crawler transporter now underneath the 32-story SLS, NASA says its most powerful rocket will begin moving toward the safety of the vehicle assembly building. Given the latest forecasts of Hurricane Ian's possible threat, Artemis One mission managers now deciding to play it safe. If they could have ridden it out at the pad, that would have been their preference. Uh, but clearly the forecast has enough uncertainty in it that they weren't willing to risk that. While Ian is a Gulf Coast storm, Dozens of Merritt Island residents are each taking home 10 free sandbags at Mitchell Ellington Park, just a few miles from the Space Center. I don't want to get flooded. <laughs> Roberta Stevenson says the seven or eight inches of rain that fell just two weeks ago filled up her yard along with flooding other neighborhoods. And I'm afraid that the waters won't subside like it had in the past, you know. But God's with us and we'll pull through. Three years ago, before SLS was at KSC and only the mobile launch tower stood at pad 39B, NASA also performed a rollback to prepare for Hurricane Dorian. This is traditional for NASA. They've always played it this way. Late October would be the earliest they could possibly roll back out and get a launch attempt in. More likely, it's going to be in November. The first motion of the rollback is expected at 11 o'clock. We'll bring you the latest on News 6 at 11. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparbero, getting results News 6.